here is the uh, 8 vm team so we are one minute before it starts who's here we have cecilia um and on htw side how is it looking oh it started so it started uh if i unzoom i can see one command center is not occupied yet for the moment 8 vm seems to have more gathering no it's equivalent and who is already out of oh, Luffy, obviously. So the R5 Luffy, um, R5 and why he's not president? Is that new? Where is the president? Who is president? It's always Luffy. Oh. Duck is president. I hadn't noticed because it changed uh, last night. Okay, so at the moment, 8VM got both command center on HTW side. And HTW... <laughs> Got that one. So 8VM has three command center and HTW has one. So 8VM is already taking advantage on the teleports. 8VM seem to have an advantage on the teleports and there are still no tower built. It looks like both manage uh, to destroy the towers. And HTW got their first tower here. And HTW, you see all the line leaving at the same time. They are using rallies to destroy the towers. Luffy and King managed to advance a little bit. HCW is almost done with the second row of towers. But when the um, when the other building will open, it will be way harder to manage this slowing down watch tower progression because they will need APCs to go in other buildings. 8VM took a big advantage on teleports. Look at that. 8VM is at 20 teleports full, while HTW is at 9 teleports. So HTW is obviously more experienced, more organized. I don't know how they do that, but they managed better the rallies on towers and defending their, uh, their first towers. But in the meantime, they are losing ground on the teleports. So if they have the towers but get killed, they won't be able to come back. So for the moment, we know nothing. <laughs> so King Beatra is here and he's building this watchtower. And that one. Yeah, let's see the armories. That's the most important to win everything. And 8 VM at the moment has both armories. Uh, oh, that's funny towers. What is this secret method? Is it for, for territory occupation points? Octopus, where is Octopus? He's expected to get MVP today. Hey, Octopus, he's here. With, um, oh, I, can't, I can't open profile in Oblivion, of course. <gasps> wow, the, the advance on towers for HTW is really crazy. I'm thinking so many towers, they must be totally out of meteorite, so they might get stuck because of the lack of meteorites but um, at the same time also 8vm had to rebuild and rebuild and rebuild rebuild towers so they also um, they also probably lost many meteorites and thing is that now htw reached the armory so now it will be way harder for 8vm to get uh, both armories so with htw owning this armory being closed here it will probably not be possible for 8vm to take advantage again on the um, combat statistics. So they really need to also reach this um, the other armory, the armory on 8vm side, and they can protect it. Otherwise, HTW will have it like a few seconds sometimes, and maybe it's at key times. And Negodia is closed. King Beach. Oh, they just got another tower. So King Beach, Dark Antras, and Negodia are closed. Those are the same people that were in the bottom of the map last time. The key is in 30 seconds and HTW is way closer. Oh, wait, how many rows is that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, they actually are at the same distance. It's just that how the map is designed, it looks like there is more. Pink key. Key is going for HTW. Oh, 8VM got back the key where it was banning the bots. Yeah, good game. I I'm really amazed by HTW now because they managed to, to take advantage on many things from the start. And, uh, you know, in 8VM, uh, yeah, now they have no just to get the key, right? 8VM uh, is very strong and it's hard to find opponents that are like, worth it? <laughs> 
Là, the, the hospital are like usually they are not very important as buildings, but in a fight like this, it's so important because it reduces the time to heal the troops. It reduces greatly the amount of diamonds that a match costs. Without the hospital, your members run out of diamonds. So it it even has consequences on days and days and days. Yeah, HTW is really on the key now. It would be really hard. So hard to, to get the key. Where is our octopus? He's here. So he's taking care of the north side. And now HTW is at the rocket repair shop. ADVM has a small advance, but HTW? They are already at both rocket repair shop. They are at center. They manage the towers greatly because of the, the great start they had on the rallies. And they placed everything to win later, probably. So, probably not probably, but it's the strategy. They, they started by placing their tower, making sure of the position, while uh, ADVM tried the same, probably, but didn't manage it as well. And here is a panda, right next to the spaceport. Front line. But HTW is disconnected too, and Moon is burning. And they still have this uh, teleport issue, see? ADVM is still managing the teleport. So ADVM has eight teleports left, and HTW has one teleport left. So now they are disconnected, and you see they are attacking the base. But if the zero base and HTW base are back to, uh, to the, the headquarter, they can't come back. Zero teleport now. So okay, Moon got zeroed, and the towers uh, the tower got destroyed. So they are losing ground. They are, still, uh, they are reconnected, reconnected, but there are four teleports. Will they get someone else here? Is it Moon? Moon. The Moon is back next to the spaceport, and they are back in building a tower here. Who's winning here? Uh, they have the same score. So um, HTW got back the five K points they were uh, behind. In five minutes, we have the next key. Check the points per minute. Yes, uh, 364 for ADVM and 996 for HTW. It reversed and now it's more for HTW because they reach with towers both rocket repair shop. Oh no, that's so frustrating. There was a tower here and it got zeroed too fast. It didn't teleport. That's bad, bad, bad. Because like, if that teleport in the second it was connected, oh maybe it wasn't connected. If they finished building the tower while it was disconnected, it was never connected. The key is about to to start, I think. So let's check in the map. So now everything is changing hand on the small building, but HTW has a huge advantage on all the um, big buildings. The thing is with the key what ADVM can do now is just manage to get the, the relays and protect the relays and destroy the relays hope that at some point HTW will not be careful and send a fast APC or they can just ignore this key and destroy them all okay the key is here key is in the relay so far it's looking good for HTW the seconds are weird Zero and HTW got the second key and they have 10,000 points in advance and they own most of the map. They have a huge advantage on points per minute, a thousand points versus uh, less than 500 points. But you know what made the difference so far? It just, it just one thing, one thing that made the whole difference for HTW. It they manage um, the rallies on tower at the beginning of the match. And ADVM didn't adapt to this. Because the rallies, they take practice and they take training. And when we saw ADVM a few matches ago, like even, even against MHM, they, they weren't doing many rallies on towers. They had to take the experience and the practice just in the last few matches, which were not enough compared to the experience HTW has with rallies. So what happened is, if you see at the start, HTW has three towers, and that's an easy, easy way to counter the rally methods. But now ADVM is getting close to the key. The issue is that a key, there is one key left and it's not enough. They need rocket repair shop and they won't get it. 
the Rocky Triple Shop are well defended because HDW had the advance on the towers and they did really well on this. A few moments later. Total score 77k for HTW and 42k for 8VM. 8VM got the first key, HTW got the two other ones. Occupying score, HTW managed better the rocket repair shop. Territory score, they managed better the towers gathering score. They had more people on gathering while at 8VM I saw three people staying at the base to gather. Total defeated. LVM dominated on strength, killing more, healing less, and teleports, HTW used more, but as we saw, LVM had an advantage on this at the beginning of the game, owning three of the command centers.